I wanted to talk about today uh, my manifestations. They always seem to like go somewhere else. Wow. And, and big ones. They're big, really big. This is really good because this is the perfect logical continuation of this conversation. That's why right before you came up, we said the maintaining of your vibration, the maintaining of your vibration, the maintaining of your vibration. Mm -hmm. So what we were talking about a little bit ago, and we'll let you speak, but we just want to lay a little groundwork here. What we're talking about is finding the path of least resistance and practicing feeling good until you've allowed something to manifest. But once it is manifested, the appreciation that you feel for it is what continues its relationship with you but defending it or justifying it to others who have decided you don't deserve it that's what causes your vibration to erode so it doesn't stay with you does that sound familiar at all it does yeah it does i learned to let go of a lot of things i noticed that like at one time like when i was younger I kind of understood this at an early age. Yes, you did. And, you all did. And then was, you got talked out of it by others who had forgotten. Yeah, but it was kind of just like in a blink of an eye, just like a thought. And then it kind of scared me. And then I just felt like I was boxed into a lot of resistance. And then I didn't know how to get out of it. And it's just... What uh, you do now? I keep good momentum, but it's almost like the resistance, like it's conscious. Well, this is the phrase that we would like you to say many 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 times in the day as you're moving forward that was then this is now uh -huh. that was then this is now uh -huh. that was then this is now that was then this is now that was then this is now and then I didn't know what I know now and what I know now is different than what I knew then everything in my life reflects what I know now mm -hmm. and so sometimes I like to take a little trek down memory lane because everything I lived as best as I can remember it validates what I know now mm -hmm. but what I know now is that I can take a path of lesser resistance so is there something that you had that went away that you're wanting to bring back it you was said big things you said big things oh man it's just like well it could be it. a song I was singing and then it's like a hit song <laughs> like the two years later and it's like it's just a trip like there's just say really, that again like it, it, a song that you were singing yeah i mean like you know, i could be just goofing around with my kids or something or, or just freestyling or just doing just you know just but being, we want to hear uh, about the uh, song uh, singing the song and then two years later what it just being on the radio the, yes. it, it, like a number one song or something just just stuff like that just in a relaxed state uh, just simple so things and i feel like get, the maestro that is controlling your universe it's there but i feel like there's i yeah i I, I know it's there but i just feel like it's kind of just like bricks on me and then okay we like that you know and well the reason it feels else. random is because you're not consistent in it Right. And the reason you're not consistent in it is because you are like almost everybody. You're doing more observing than you are deliberate thinking. But we're wanting you to feel your way through these things. Right. So when you sat down, what was on your mind? What is it that you most want to understand? I don't know how to get rid of the resistance completely. I feel like I meditate and I, I meditate and I feel like we don't want you to get rid of all resistance all at once yeah. and you never will be completely rid of resistance because you're moving into new territory and unknowns cause resistance mm -hmm. but the way to release resistance is by caring about the way you feel and by hearing us and practicing the notion of taking the path of least resistance so let's take a subject and let's do it let's find less resistance on a subject that matters to you all right on a subject that matters to me least resistance I just I don't like to worry and I think I I think my problem is is I do worry about other people more than myself and then but I just don't all right so so give us an example of something that you worry about because we want to say worry is your indication of resistance so I have resistance I'm taking the path of more resistance by deliberately worrying about someone yeah. so pick some common subject that you often worry about and let's work the kinks out of it 
Make a worrisome statement. I worry about... I worry about just like my future, my... Oh, wait a minute. Future. You said I worry about other people more than I worry about myself. I do. So I do. give us some of that. All right. Well, then, I worry about my kids a lot. I worry about my kids a lot. Be more specific. I can't go there. I don't, I don't feel worried at all about them right now, but I, I have... I, <laughs> Well, that may be the most important thing that anyone said all day. <laughs> Don't make me go there. And so basically you're just giving us lip service to your disconnection. Yeah. In other words, you really have no resistance right now. You're just wanting to talk about it in case you ever get some again. Yeah. No, but my resistance is, I sound crazy, but sometimes I feel like my resistance is like actual, like a, I can hear it. I can hear like voices and stuff. That's just weird. <laughs> it is weird. And I think I manifested that. Like I manifested, like I think I was a kid and I just said, this is the vortex and what is it doing there? You know? And I was scared of it and I didn't want to be scared of it. And I kind of, I think I manifested a lot of things that I'm dealing with now as a, as a child. And I don't know why it was there it scared me and i wanted to kind of like i played around in it here's the path of least resistance for you we're going to speak from your point of view i remember from a previous time of my life being in more consistent alignment i remember feeling my power even more than i feel it now not necessarily more in the terms of greater spiking of it but more steady and then i don't know how but somehow that sort of eroded and i never took that well and now i'm realizing that the reason that i keep wanting to get back to that more powerful feeling back to that more consistent feeling of well-being is because that really is what's natural to me so as I'm moving through my day-to-day -day experiences, I'm sort of all over the place. I'm really interested in a lot of things. I'm interested in people. I care about people. My mind goes quickly. I guess the best way I could describe myself is I am a relater. I relate to things. I try to relate to things. I try to understand where people are coming from. And in doing so, I'm realizing now that I'm kind of doing a disservice to myself because I'm scattering my energy. And so I don't have the clarity that I once felt. I easily go here and here and here and here and here. At one time, I heard from some, and maybe I attempted it to some degree, I became a sort of pleaser because I want others around me to feel good. And so I'm really accommodating. I care about people feeling good. But the more I try to do that, the more I'm realizing that not only do I disempower them to some degree, but I'm scattering my own energy. So even though I am pretty sure I know what I want, there's so many things that I'm thinking about all at the same time that I can't even express clearly what I want very well. So now as I sit here, I realize that I'm feeling pretty good and that part of my wanting to have conversation about where I've been or even where I am feels irrelevant to me right now because I can feel somehow I've managed to get back to that place where I'm feeling that natural alignment. But in feeling that natural alignment, I'm afraid that it's not enough. It keeps occurring to me that I need to be doing other things that there's more that I should be doing that just feeling alignment isn't enough and I can hear Abraham trying to convince us all that feeling that alignment is enough I think what would serve me we're speaking for you still I think what would serve me is to just let myself make more decisions in every day I think my determination to hold steady in a vibration 
has caused me to not reach into the new as much as is really good for me so I've sort of slowed the momentum and in slowing the momentum I don't feel as vital and as alive as I once felt and as I want to feel in my guardedness of wanting to maintain balance I have sort of stopped the momentum I think because I was not trusting that I have the ability to find new momentum and then gain balance and find new momentum and then gain balance make sense to you yeah I think I had a, a lot of momentum yes I guess what I manifested won't let me get good momentum again but the only thing that slows momentum here's the physics of yeah. momentum or first understand that through contrast you've launched rockets and that was a momentum not discernible to you but your rocket of desire had momentum sure. source received the rocket understood it fully and holds the vibrational frequency of it and law of attraction is now responding to that understanding of your desire so your desire is continuing to expand you launched it and it's getting bigger so the only question is where do you with your mind stand in relationship to this desire and the way you know is by the way you feel so there was momentum when you launched it and source is maintaining the momentum of your desire the momentum is there but you just can't jump on it from anywhere you have to be in a state of allowing yourself the corks that you hold under the water is the stopping of the momentum when you let go of it that cork will gain its own momentum it's not something that you have to apply to it this is the thing that we really want you to understand you don't add the momentum you just don't get in the way of the momentum in other words if you don't do those things you do the slow momentum momentum will go law of attraction insists that it does you see so what slows momentum is I want this but it isn't here yet that slows momentum I really like this but so-and-so in my life doesn't think I should do that hmm. I think this is a good idea but last time I tried that it didn't work out so it's this back and forth that slows momentum and that's the only thing that slows momentum and nobody else is doing it it's only your own split energy and so what is necessary is more sensitivity at the early stages it's like you launch a rocket and then you just shoot it in the foot you launch a rocket and then you just shoot it in the foot and your practicality will do that also your guardedness of not wanting to get too out of control will do that we know for sure about you that you've launched so many rockets and you rode them hard and you had a great time and others criticized you for your irresponsible behavior and now there's a part of you that doesn't want to go back to that condemnation of irresponsible behavior and we want to say to you the only thing that's irresponsible about you ever is not going in the direction of the rocket it's not listening to your own guidance and it's not going you're holding yourself back for no good reason you say no good reason and so the frustration you feel really is about that the frustration you feel is that <sighs> your desires are calling with such a loud voice and often you get in the receptive mode where you actually hear the calling the ideas are coming in such a powerful way and yet you quell them in your habit that's all all right everything's good everything's great